Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your privacy on YouTube. I'm going to go through the full desktop version of the YouTube website, but the steps are going to be similar if you're using the mobile website or YouTube apps. So you'll log into your YouTube account, your Google account, and then go to the YouTube website. And you'll see your face or logo in the right hand corner here. You can click that and then click this gear icon, which is the settings. And then it'll take you to the account overview page. Next, you want to go click here on privacy on the left side. And there's some options for your likes and subscriptions. So this controls what other YouTube users can see about videos that you've liked, playlists um, that you've saved, and any uh, of your subscriptions. So I recommend checking all these box boxes to keep all of those private and then clicking save. Now, you may not be aware, but YouTube tracks your activity um, things that you've watched, things that you have commented on, and you can get to that in the menu here and going to history. And I just threw one in here so that uh, I'd have something to work with. Um, but you'll see there are various types here and you can click through and look at, uh, you know, watch history, search history, comments, community, live chat. And for each of these, you can um, clear everything. You can pause the watch history um, in order to not um, save any in the future. So basically what this does is, so if you clear, um, that removes all the past items of that type. So I'm in watch right now, so it would clear all of the watch history um, going into the past. But it would continue to save it if I were to go out and start watching more videos. So to prevent that, you can then pause the watch history, um, and that will prevent any future watching from being recorded here. So past, future. Um, you can also manage individual items. So I could go here and um, click this and that would just remove that one item from the watch history. And so you can repeat that as you go through um, these various um, types of history here. Uh, now something else to be aware of is when you are uploading um, videos to YouTube. So if you're not watching them, but you're creating them, you're uploading them to YouTube. When you put a video on YouTube, you control the privacy. And you can see right here, um, so you have public, um, which uh, is going to be able to be seen by anyone on YouTube. You've got unlisted, um, which means that it's there, but it's not publicly visible. You can share a link and, um, and then others can see it as long as they have the link. Private uh, is also not public. Um, the difference being here, you have to specify which users can see it. Um, so you need to, to kind of select YouTube users who are uh, able to access your video, whereas the unlisted, anyone that has the link can, can go and view it. And then scheduled means that it's starting out private, but at the date that you specify, it will go public. So those are the different options there. And if you have videos in the past that you want to change, um, you know, maybe you've accidentally put something up uh, publicly and it's actually a you know private family video or something you want to now make it private, um, you can go and do that um, in your videos. So what you would do is um, go into your, uh, click the menu here and then go to YouTube Studio, which is what takes you to your videos. So this is what that looks like when you have uh, all your videos and you'll see there's a column for visibility and you can go and um, see what the current status is um, if you hover over this, it gives you a little bit of explanation. So for example, this one is scheduled. It's private now, but it's scheduled to go up. Um, and you can change these as well. So you just click and then you can um, switch back and forth between the different options. Uh, so because YouTube is owned by Google, the overall security of your YouTube account um, really greatly depends on the security of your Google account. So I definitely recommend going over to defendingdigital.com and checking out the Google account security and privacy guide that I published there. And uh, you'll find a lot of tips there. And then one last uh, tip for using YouTube. Um, if you're using someone else's device to log into your YouTube account, make sure that you log out when you're finished because otherwise that person's gonna be able to use YouTube as you uh, and, and the activity will show as if you had done it. So you can learn a lot more about Google and its related products, as well as other ways of protecting your privacy and security at DefendingDigital.com.